Hello, my sweet friends. It's so good to be back, and thank you so much for joining me today as I show you what I did to my vintage 1930s Jacobean buffet to create an island and much-needed storage and work surface in my new little kitchen. Some of you may remember this buffet that I had in my dining room of my previous home. Now, it was painted like this when I purchased it about three years ago and wasn't in the best of condition, so I didn't feel a bit bad about recreating this piece into something more useful and beautiful for my new little 836 square feet Texas condo. And I think you'll agree that it morphed into something very functional and a one-of-a-kind piece. So, with my design that I came up with, we took a large piece of cabinet grade plywood along with a pair of iron corbels that you see here and added a shelf as a continuance of the top of the buffet to give more surface area and we also added plywood to the back of the buffet to strengthen it as well as create a finished look so that it could be freestanding and have a couple of bar stools pulled up to it for casual dining. Now we could have just replaced the entire top of the buffet with one solid piece of wood or had a slab of granite cut as a countertop, but I opted not to do that so that I would have the option of just removing the shelf and corbels in case I wanted to just return the buffet to its normal use once again if I chose to. So next, I painted the entire buffet, now island, in this gorgeous creamy white Rust-Oleum chiffon cream chalk paint and finished it with three coats of polycrylic for a sturdy finish. Then I added this pretty iron rack with hooks on it that I purchased at Hobby Lobby so I could utilize it for hanging decor and or kitchen utensils on it. But I think it needs a couple of pieces of vintage copper hanging there, don't you think? Okay guys, you know how I am. I never leave well enough alone. So now I wanna show you how I took it a step further and added even more character to the buffet island. Y'all remember my kitchen peninsula that we customized in my previous home by adding a gorgeous Imperial Garden Prima transfer. Well, I knew I wanted to have that transfer in my new kitchen, so I ordered another one from Amazon and applied it to the back of the buffet island. So tell me, what do you all think? I'm really loving it on the chiffon cream paint. Here's a look at the pre-renovation view of the kitchen area as you see it from the living room. The black arrow in the photo indicates where my vision of the buffet island placement needed to be in the kitchen and it fits there perfectly as well as serving as a beautiful divider between the kitchen and living room areas and you all please forgive the poor lighting today it's so frustrating it's been sunny and then overcast so it has greatly affected the lighting in here today of all days when i wanted to create this video but i hope you can all see well enough and get an idea of what i did please bear in mind that the condo is not decorated just yet i'm still unpacking and deciding what to place where but very soon i'll be decorating and showing you all what i'm doing in upcoming videos so please stay tuned and as you can see here the wall to the right of the buffet was added during renovation to house and conceal the refrigerator which lends a nice wall space to decorate. I just love that. And the doorway to the far right is my little laundry room and pantry area. And here's a shot of the view from my living room into the kitchen. As you can see here, I needed some bar stools for the island. I found these cute bar stools at the at-home store and just love the wood finish and linen seats which lend themselves very well to my French country design sensibility. Here are the bar stools in place. I didn't want anything too tall or heavy looking because I felt like that would create a visually obtrusive look for this area of my home. Alrighty, my sweet friends, that's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little more of my condo and the Buffet Island makeover, and perhaps maybe found a little inspiration for creating your own island out of an unused dresser or a buffet that you might have stashed somewhere in your home or garage. Creating these one-of-a-kind pieces is always so much fun. So until next time, you all take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.